Greetings, welcome to Rosh Reports on this Roman calendar Easter Sunday. We celebrate Ethiopia Easter next week, April 12th. I'm speaking about ISIS again today. Voice of America prominent CIA publication states that Saudi Arabia now wants to acquire a nuclear weapon. They're not happy with the deal with Iran. This is coming from the CEO of a counter extremism project as well as a co-founder of United Against Nuclear Iran. This is a former U.S. ambassador which goes to show these are official capacities. They're moving up. They're trying to attain the top tower heights and as they do those people they leave behind are beginning to look up to them. See? So even though we have a government, there's a government that governs the government. Pakistan's Shiite population, that's the new fear. Iran is now going to go into Pakistan and control that, that region. You know, this whole thing in the Middle East has been about containing that region, the resources, human and natural, from Iran. There's a lot of formers that are make calling the shots. <clears throat> so I see that as a real issue. <clears throat> but it's how capitalism works. Whoever attains the most capital is king. Right? They're the ones that everyone wants to serve. NBC states Iraqi military command has been ordered to drive ISIS militants out of Iraq and into Syria by next year. The, the, uh, com the official commanders in Iraq or wherever this come from, they don't even state the man's name. They're upset because Iran's become, be, been too aggressive with ISIS. Meanwhile, Russia's prepared to deliver $1.23 billion in military aid to Tajikistan, which is on the northern border of Afghanistan. Aid will include communication systems, small arms, ammunition for aircraft and defense launchers with purposes of combating the Islamic State. Huffington Post is stating that ISIS is getting spreading, they're in Tunisia now, although the CIA is stating don't worry about the alliance between Boko Haram and ISIS because ISIS is racist. We're not to take their relationship seriously now, according to the CIA. What I think is that they didn't have their shit together. They, 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 they wanted it to become this big, you know, oh no, Boko Haram and ISIS, and we need to do something. But the polls, the people, the, you know, the digital um, information they were getting back was telling them that people, people wasn't buying it. People wasn't buying it. Like they know. Right? Act like they know. The White House spokesperson appears that says ISIS is using, you know, that all their murders, 130 civilians uh, in Yemen for propaganda efforts. Now, I don't know that many people that are that interested in killing innocent people. I'm sure there's some out there, but how many of those people are also interested in in setting a, a religious order and want to just kill those people? I really don't think so. You know, they found the poorest, hungriest most savagery people they could find on the earth. They promised them gold and they lured them in. And now what do they have? At the same time, they might not have the uh, capability to, to contain the region entirely, so they need U.S. They need U.S. intervention. Big dogs. Now ISIS has also taken over this Palestinian refugee camp. There's, there's uh, talks of, of unrest in the streets uh, between the uh, the rival militants that are that are stationed at that camp or possibly Bashar Assad's forces. You know, it's rah, 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 let's go ISIS. Um, Telegraph UK says, if they win, they will have a mile square base of operations just five miles from the center of Damascus itself, within the range of their rockets, threatening President Bashar Assad's power base with daily attacks. Now, this is in bold, threatening the power base. Now, it goes on to almost gives us like a, a, a complete strategic overview of what ISIS is about to do. This does not mean that ISIL opposes an immediate threat to the regime. The group does not have the numbers in the south of the country for that. Now, let me stop for a minute. Is anyone really expected to believe that ISIS doesn't pose a threat to Bashar Assad? In fact, it does not even have the numbers to overwhelm the other groups who have occupied areas in more than, northern and eastern suburbs for years now and drove out the previous attempt by the jihadists to muscle in. However, it is increasingly confident in what is a new tactic, one that is proving very hard for both the regime and competing rebels to challenge. 
it establishes a cell, one that is not immediately large enough to be a threat worth taking on. Then it strengthens it until it, taking it would become too painful, thereby establishing dominance over a small area. So BBC is basically setting the, the, the tone for ISIS to, to topple aside. And they're saying, hey, this is how you guys didn't have to do it. Set up a small cell, you know, it's not, it's not big enough to be a threat for U.S. intervention. Establish themselves and kind of be hidden. They're there to strike. And of course, there's going to be other coalitions striking at the same time. Not without some foundation that the regime holds off bombing areas controlled by ISIL. So there we go again. The regime has hold it off from bombing areas controlled by ISIL because they know ISIL is just driving out some of these other oppositional figures. Hmm. All the talk has disappeared? Oh, well, it's what the UK is telling us. Well, last time I checked, the Free Syrian Army was destroyed. Jaish al-Islam, which is dominant force in Damascus suburbs and also backed by Saudi Arabia and eschews the anti-Western rhetoric of other groups, excuse me, backed by Saudi Arabia and eschews the anti-Western rhetoric of the other extremist groups. No, Bashar Assad did release some characters that ended up joining with the ranks of ISIS. Um, according to this article, this man was, was uh, released by Bashar Assad but he joined a group called Jaish al-Islam. And they're saying that the country is about to become a battlefield for competing brands of holy warrior. Austria, Australia says ISIL's floating the idea of truce and that they're now having tanks, artillery pieces, army of soldiers with tens of thousands strong in their own spy drones. And they also have plans to produce their own currency, primary schools for the young and functioning court system. Well, we've already went over this. ISIS is supposed to be the, the example to the rest of the world.